Well, this video is going to be filled with a bunch of not. Well, here's what I'm not doing. As you can see, that used to be a whole PlayStation 3. The fucker also used to work. So, it follows that I am not watching Bender's game. And I am not playing Little Big Planet. Because this piece of shit has screwed the pooch. I paid the protection money, but then I probably fed the receipt totally on accident to Mr. Mad Dog here. As a result of this fiasco, the place was clean. but is now a fucking pit. This thing, this problematic piece of shit, Blu-ray drive out of a PlayStation 3, my old one to be precise. This, the guts of it, this is a KEM 400 triple A mechanism with two witches fitted and old style stepper lead screw and a KES 400 A laser unit which I believe is the source of my troubles. Now what happens is when I put a disc in it just goes click, 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 click. The spindle doesn't even spin up. Reading online, it looks like this right here, right over here where my index finger is. That is two laser diodes. A blue laser diode for Blu-ray and a red laser diode for DVD and CD. Imagine a rectangle here. This thing just shoots into a prism and the resulting light gets focused by this little lens here. So that's, that was the source of the clicking. It would go click, 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 click as it tried to focus. Of course, there was nothing to focus because the laser diode's dark. So it wouldn't spin up the motor, the spindle motor. So that leaves me with a dilemma. Where, where in the world can I get one of these? I mean, besides China. Okay, because they've got them in China. This is where they were made. But I really don't want somebody in China draining my bank account. So, hmm, it's kind of problematic. i got to find a good source for these. What we've got here, the KES-400A laser unit. I'll point out the pieces of the unit as best I can. Back here you've got what I believe to be two laser diodes, one red and one blue. And in here I see some optics. I wonder that might be some source of light because I see optics opposite that oh there's another little board on the back I'm not exactly sure how this works there's optics opposite that too anyway this whole section is the source of light whether red or blue and this, I swear I need to be an octopus to do this. See where my index finger is? I'm moving 
this little part with the lens in it. That's a solenoid, obviously. And when one wavelength is being used, it's out like this. And when the other wavelength is being used, bam, there it goes. It's in like that. It changes the optical geometry so that you can have one lens here on the business end to read them all. I believe the 410 version of this part has two um, objective lenses on here. It would be oriented like this. Well, it would have an objective lens for blue and an objective lens for red. This was Sony's attempt to save money. I don't know. It might have worked had the laser diodes not conked out on me. I still don't know too much about this. I'll have to read up. And you see there's little coils there to focus the objective lens. There's some control circuitry around. But yeah, this this bugger is the root of all my evil problems. I was able to get a replacement from within the USA out of Elmhurst, New York. Should be here this week for $72 or so plus shipping. I consider it to be a bargain considering that my other choices were to pay some guy in Florida $120, which I wasn't going to do, or give some give my financial information to some shady Chinese character, which I also don't want to do. So there you have it. Bad piece of shit part. Shame on you, Sony, for trying to cut corners and being cheap. Shame on me for not having my receipt or inadvertently shredding it and thus having to give Sony more money.